In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the expectation value of any quantity, as long as that quantity can be expressed in terms of position and momentum. This video is part of a playlist on quantum mechanics. You can find the link to this playlist in the description below. First of all, let's have a look at our integral sandwich. This is our technique to create a definition for uh, the expectation value of a quantity. So we've seen position, we've seen momentum. Let's try and combine position and momentum together to get a more general idea of expectation values. So we're going to take a quantity. Let's call that quantity Q. And Q is going to depend on both X and P. So we have Q, that's our quantity. It depends on X and on P. So we can express this quantity as a function of position and momentum. Can you think of some examples from classical mechanics? Well, the Hamiltonian is a very good example of this. Angular momentum, kinetic energy, all of these quantities can be expressed in terms of x and p. Sometimes only p shows up, sometimes only x shows up. But either way, you can express this as some kind of function of x and p. And we know how to deal with x and p. In the previous few videos, we've talked a lot about the expectation value of x and the expectation value of p. Now let's take that understanding, combine it together, and make the expectation value of this guy. So to make this into an expectation value, I'm going to put triangular brackets around here. That's just going to denote the expectation value. So the expectation value of Q is going to be our good old integral sandwich. So we're going to need an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity. We're going to need psi star, the complex conjugate. That's the lettuce in the sandwich. And then on the inside over here, we're going to have uh, some kind of combination of x and p. So that's going to be Q as a function of x and h bar over i times d dx. So some combination of, of this little derivative mess and this x. We're going to combine these guys together, and then we're going to have psi over here and dx. So this is the definition. What we're putting in the middle is uh, this kind of relationship that links together q uh, in terms of position and momentum. And if we sandwich that between psi star and psi, and then integrate over the entire domain, that's going to give us a number. And that number is the expectation value associated with q. So there, there's a lot of little subtle nuances in this definition. So I'll use the sandwich analogy, like we used in the previous videos, to try and clarify it. So this integral is kind of like the bread of the sandwich. This psi star and this psi, they are like the lettuce in the sandwich. And all of the good stuff that you're eating the sandwich uh, for all of that good stuff like cheese and tomatoes and olives, all of that stuff is contained inside of Q. So you can think of Q as some kind of combination of cheese and tomatoes and other little uh, things that you can put inside of a sandwich. So X and this little derivative com uh, combination, they get combined together uh, in some organized manner. So there's some kind of combination that defines Q. And if we express uh, Q in terms of these guys, and we perform this integral, then we're going to get that expectation value. So we're going to be using this combination in later videos. Make sure you watch the other videos in this playlist by clicking over here.